it might be one of the wildest and fastest hair loss transformation I have ever seen. And on top of reversing his hair loss, he is also admitting being on a steroid cycle while he's regaining his hairline. And we're going to talk about all of that in this video. If you're not a newcomer to my channel or the bodybuilding scene in general, you know that there are two things that usually go hand in hand, steroids and hair loss. Usually when you do a steroid cycle or stay on TRT, you tend to slowly start a process where you lose a lot of your hairs. And as you stay on these kind of cycles over time, you end up losing most of your hair. This happened to me at a young age, and it also seems to be the problem for this dude. The problem is often that a lot of guys tend to neglect their hairline in the search of the you know, bigger biceps. And when they finally realize their error, they quit all the hormones altogether to instead focus on saving the hairline. But what if you actually try and save your hairline while keeping your gains tight? This guy seems to have found a way to get the best of both worlds. Keep in mind, I do not encourage nor endorse any usage of steroids or anything illegal. So I'm not going to get into details on what he's been doing, but he explains in his post on Reddit that you also just can find the link to in the description that he's been doing testosterone and Anavar, also known as Oxandrone. Oxandrone is known to be a notorious beast on your hair loss. So again, the fact that he actually managed to go from this to this is simply impressive. On top of that, he uploaded several pictures from the same time so that nobody can go about and say, it's all about the lights and angels and so on, it's not real. But let's not waste time and just take a look at the protocol. I will quickly explain what it took, how it works, and give it a quick zero to five star rating based on how much of an effect I think it has on his hair loss reversal. Step one, finasteride at one milligram a day. Finasteride is a pill you take and it works by blocking the enzyme in your body called 5-alpha reductase enzyme, which is what basically converts testosterone into DHC. DHC is the hormone that causes hair follicle miniaturization in people that usually are prone to what we call androgenic alopecia, which is hair loss. By lowering DHC levels by about 60%, it significantly slows or even stops further hair loss and in some cases help regrow miniaturized hair. I'll give this a 5 out of 5 based on the fact that suppression of DHC is always step one. Dutasteride might have yielded better results, but finasteride is a sure winner and you should always start with one of the two. Step two, two times 2.5 milligrams oral minoxidil a day. Oral minoxidil is a systemic vasodilator that increases blood flow to the scalp, delivering more oxygen and nutrients to the hair follicles. Unlike finasteride, it doesn't block DHT, but instead stimulates hair to growth, increases hair diameter and extends the anagen, which is the growth phase of the hair cycle. 2.5 milligrams twice a day is considered to be what I'll call a high dose, so it's a pretty aggressive approach already here. I'll give this a 4 out of 5, and it's mainly because it usually takes minoxidil a few months to kick in. So I'm really excited to see if he is going to get even more and better results in the future if he keeps posting. Step three, topical minoxidil 5% every night. So this is the more classic form of minoxidil that most people know as Rogaine. It works in the same way as all minoxidil by boosting blood flow, signaling follicles to grow thicker, stronger, and longer. But this one is localized, meaning it works mostly on the area scalp where it's applied to. Using both oral and topical together is fairly controversial, but some people do believe in doubling down to maximize results, especially hard hit areas like this dude has. Step four, 50 milligrams of RU58841 every night. RU58841 is a topical androgen receptor blocker, meaning it doesn't reduce DHT like finasteride, Instead, it blocks the rest of the DHT from binding to the hair follicle receptors and causing hair loss. So even if there's still DHT in your system, RU58841 can stop it from doing damage where it matters the most, which is the scalp where you apply it. I'll give this one a solid 4 out of 5 since it has a 
great synergy with Finasteroid. Finasteroid is not that strong on its own. So what do we do about the remaining 40% DHT left on the scalp? This is why IU5841 is such a great option for this to take care of the remainder of the DHT by blocking it. It's super simple. I buy it from anagenink.com where it arrives in a flask like this. I'll receive 30 milliliters of a solution that I simply just pick up with a dropper. I apply one milliliter daily every night, just like he does to my scalp, and it works wonders. By the way, if you want to check this out, I have a 10% discount code in the description, and there's also just the code blueprint that you can use at Energen Inc. for 10% discount on all your orders. Personally, I've been using IU5841 since the start of my hair loss, and it has done wonders to my hair. But once again, it doesn't work wonders just on its own. You will, in my opinion, need something like Finasteride at the very least to keep some of the other DHC from being formed, just to have a 2 plus 2 equals 6 kind of formula. Step 5. Microneedling every 14 days. Microneedling creates tiny yet controlled injuries to the scalp using either a derma roller or a derma pen, which stimulates collagen production and activates stem cells. It also, on top of that, increases blood flow and can help wake up dormant hair follicles. Every 14 days is a fairly solid protocol that balance results with recovery time. But since I don't know the depth of the microneedling, and he says that he is not religious about the timing, combined with the fact that microneedling on its own takes a long time to yield result, I will give this another 3 out of 5. It's a solid base, but microneedling is more like a support procedure on top of all the other things. But overall, this is an amazing stack that he used. All the foundation for a hair loss reversal is covered, and his pictures is definitely here to prove that you can actually reverse your hair loss even on anabolics. But if you are still watching, I assume that you want to learn more about hair loss, and this is why I've created this video for you where you can learn how to fight off your own hair loss.